Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the Steel segment here at Trimble. And what I'll be showing is a tutorial of the linking documents to Trimble Connect extension, which is available for download on the Tecla warehouse. So the first thing that you need to do in order to begin using this is that you first need to create a Trimble Connect project, and then you need to upload a model to the Trimble Connect project. What this tool will then allow you to do is to link the assembly drawings, part drawings, cast unit drawings, general arrangement drawings, CNC files, or assembly IFC files to those individual objects or assemblies within your Trimble Connect project. So I've already gone in and created a Trimble Connect project. Uh, you then will need to create a model. Uh, there's a couple ways to do this. You can come to File, Export, and then use the Trimble Connector, which will upload your model. What I'm going to show though are some specific settings in the IFC export, which is what the Trimble Connector will use to upload the project, that you want to make sure you have checked before you upload your project to make sure everything works correctly. So one of the things that I like to use is I like to use this Tecla Structures setting. So if I go in and load those, what this does is it sets some property sets that contain um, some assembly uh, information that I like to see, like my assembly prefix, my part profile, and that sort of stuff. But the main thing that you want to make sure you have checked is this assemblies option here. So we can link the assembly or cast units. In order to do that, we need the assembly hierarchy included. So whatever settings you choose to use, be sure that you include this assembly option right here. So like I said, I've gone through, I've already created my Trimble Connect project. I've uploaded the IFC file. Um, just so that I can show this live, I started with just a really simple basic uh, situation here. And then at the end, once we go through all the different scenarios of the tool, I'll show you a full project uh, that's been uploaded. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this extension. And then what this will do is it will go in and it will log me into Trimble Connect. If my project is named the same thing, in Trimble Connect as my project in Tecla Structures, then it will automatically find it here under this Trimble Connect projects. But if not, you can always just come in here and click the drop down. This will give you a full list of your Trimble Connect projects. So it successfully found mine. And then what this will do is it will list any of your IFC files that you have within your root folder within your Trimble Connect project. If you have more than one, then they'll be listed here. I only have one uploaded, so it's just showing that. So just a couple things about the user interface, some things that are available here. Uh, first off, we can get here to the upload without linking. If I come in and check that, you can see that it grays out this uh, IFC option here. And basically what this will do is it will just be a conduit from Tecla Structures to Trimble Connect. So if you wanted to just upload drawings or CNC files, for example, and not link them to any objects, then you could just upload them uh, without the linking. In this example, I'm going to show how we can link. And then here I can just toggle on the options that I want to include. So if I want to include assembly drawings, single part drawings, cast unit GAs, NC files, or the IFC files, then I can certainly do that. So here on the NC files, I'm just going to click that on. And then this will read in the settings from my DSTV settings. So I can just choose those that I want to be included. Then if I want, I can also choose to include the assembly or the cast unit IFC files. If I check that, then this IFC tab will become available here. And what this will do is it will create an IFC of the individual assembly or cast unit at the uh, local origin 000. So when you upload that into Trimble Connect or into a different product, it won't be off in space. It will be right near your origin. And then you also have the ability to come in and define part filters and part faces. So for example, if I wanted to make sure that all of my steel beams were uploaded with using the front face, as the default face, then I could set that up or I could set this to top, back, or below. So it lets me control what's uploaded and what orientation it's going to have once it's uploaded. In this example, I'm not going to show the IFC files. I'll just include the information that I have selected here that's already in my model. Over here on the options side, we have a couple different things that we can look at. If I choose this only for selected objects, then it's just going to upload the information for what I have selected there within the model. If that's unchecked, then it's going to upload everything in the model. So similar to in Tecla Structures where you have create from all or create from selected, uh, this works essentially the same way. Then I also have the option here to use existing PDFs. So if you've gone in and already PDFed your drawings and those are in the model folder, 
then this tool will go in and find those uh, based upon the settings that you have defined in your advanced option when you go in and print your drawings. If it's unchecked, like I'm going to do, this tool will automatically go in and print the drawings for you, upload them to Trimble Connect, and link them to their respective objects within the model. This export mode, I'm going to go ahead and show you how that works. Uh, we have basically two options. So add, which means it's just going to go in and upload information to your Trimble Connect project, which I'll show you here in a minute. And then reset will go in and it will remove everything that's been uploaded to the Trimble Connect project by this tool. And then just upload the new information that you have selected. So let me show a quick example of how that works. So let's say here that I just want to do my assembly drawings. I'm just going to go ahead and click play. This is going to tell me that it's going to save the model, that I won't be able to undo. Do I want to continue? I'm going to say yes. Let's go ahead and save and link these documents. So what this tool will do is that it will go in and it will PDF the, the drawings for me. If you, there are things that need to be updated, you'll see this dialog here. And I'll just go ahead and click on yes. It will update the drawings for me, PDF them. And then it's going to upload them into Trimble Connect and attach them to the respective assembly. So this is a relatively small uh, project here just so that I can show this, um, how this works in real time uh, without waiting for a larger project to process. All right, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. So I'm just going to come to Trimble Connect Web, click on Refresh. And then what I'll be able to see are the folders that were created within my project uh, based from this tool. So here I can see the folders created um, for the assembly or cast unit IFCs, my drawings and NC files, and then some other folders for the tool to be able to work. So if I come into my drawings folder, I should be able to see here that I have my three assembly drawings that are created. I can click on those and view those. But then if I go back here and open up the model, then what I'll be able to do is click on view. That will open up the model that I'll be able to see. And then we're going to have on the left hand side these model attachments. So I'll be able to click on those drawings that are uploaded and be able to interact with those within the model. So here's my model that's there over here on the left hand side. I can come in and click on these model attachments. And this will give me a list of the drawings that are included within my project. So in this case, we'll only have the three because those are those three assembly drawings that we've uploaded. So now that those are loaded, I can just go ahead and click on one of these. And you can see that as I select on it, it's going to highlight that there for me in the model. And I can go through the same and it just illuminates those. So in Trimble Connect Web, I have this nice interaction between the attachment and the model. If we come take a look over at Trimble Connect Desktop, let me go back to the Data tab and just refresh and make sure that we got everything pulled down here, which we should. And then I'll just go ahead and view this model and then we'll be able to see this information link. So as you can see now, um, here I have kind of these, uh, these paper icons that are here. This is just showing me that things are linked to these parts or pieces. Over here on the left hand side, I can toggle those icons on or off. It just alerts me that something's linked. And then if I come in and select these objects and right click, I can easily see here that I have this PDF that's uploaded. And if I want to view that, I can just click the view and it's going to open up that PDF file um, in my associated viewer, as you can see there. So we won't spend too much time looking at that um, just so that we can show the linking. Another thing that you can do is that if I right click and I click on this element assembly, it's going to give me a breakdown of a lot of information about this part. These are some of the uh, attributes, these property sets that were included in the IFC file. And then I can also see here a list of the parts or uh, documents that were linked to these particular objects. So I could do the same thing for this one and be able to see these files. So I can launch it from the right click menu, the attachment, or I can view all of the files there within Trimble Connect desktop. So let's go back into Tecla Structures and let's say that this time uh, we're going to use the same export mode that we want to also include the single part drawings and the DSTV files. So let me check that on. There we go. And then I'll just go ahead and click upload. So again, this is going to prompt me, do I want to save my model? And all this is going to do, like it says there in the export mode, is just going to add to that. So it's going to in PDF my single part drawings. It's going to create the CNC files. It's going to upload those into Trimble Connect. 
and then it's going to link them to the respective objects. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like now. So let's just go ahead and refresh this. We'll be able to take a look at the model and then be able to interact with this information here. While that's refreshing, I'm going to go over and do the same in desktop so that that can refresh while we're taking a look at these. All right. So what we did is we uploaded the part and the CNC files. So I can wait for the attachments to load and I can view those. Another thing that I can also do here is just click on these individual parts. So let's say we want to take a look at this base plate. Then up here I can click on this attachments thing and this will come in and load in the attachments that are linked to this particular part. So I should be able to see my plate drawing and my CNC file. So there I have my PDF and then my NC file that's there. So same idea here if we want to take a look at this particular part. And I can just click on the open attachments. Those files will then load in and I can view the PDF and the NC file and then click to view those uh, if I want. All right. So then over here on Trimble Connect desktop, let's go ahead and click view. You can see that I have a lot more icons uh, that are available now. And so if I come in and change my selection mode up here from selecting assemblies to just selecting parts, I can click on the part, right click, and then same idea as before, I can see the CNC file and the PDF or I can choose plate and then it will show me a list of all of the parts that are linked to that object there within the model. So back to Tech with Structures, so the add is just simply adding information. So let's say that we uploaded the assemblies like we did, we have the single parts and the CNC files and we actually wanted to reset that. We wanted to remove the CNC files, we wanted to remove the single part drawings and we just wanted to reset it back to only showing the assembly drawing or maybe we wanted to remove all drawings together and just upload the assembly file for example. And that's where this reset option comes into play. So what this will do I'll go ahead and just click this and tell that to go. What this is going to do is it's going to remove everything that this tool has uploaded to Trimble Connect and then it's just going to re-upload this stuff that I have so selected here. So I'll remove the single part, the CNC files, the assembly drawings and then it's just going to upload the new assembly drawings for me. So let's go back to Trimble Connect Desktop. We can load in a project that has already been completed. It has the general arrangement drawing information. It has the parts, uh, and all that sort of stuff already linked here. So you can see that I have a whole bunch of icons here just for clarity. I'm just going to go ahead and toggle those off. And then, then we can view in to just start poking around on this particular project here. So I'll go in and select this plate. And then if I right click on here, I can see the general arrangement drawing, the CNC files. Um, I can see the PDF drawings that are associated there. If I toggle to my assembly switch, then I can see the assembly drawing that's there. So what this allows me to do is to come in and view this particular project, whether it's on the assembly level or the individual part level, and to be able to view the part drawings, the CNC files, and the general arrangement drawings. So what this allows me to do is to deliver a fully constructible model to somebody with the model and the drawings and appropriate documents linked to those individual objects for them to be able to view and to interact with. So as mentioned before, this is available on the Tecla warehouse. You can download this extension linking documents to Trimble Connect. Feel free to try it out. Send us any feedback that you may have. And we hope you enjoy this new development.